Hi, I'm Andy. Welcome or welcome back. I'm really happy that you're here. We're talking some numbers today, you guys. We're talking some numbers. I'm going to share with you my inventory numbers, my makeup inventory, since July, from July until present day. Previously, I had done this January and July. So this year, I'm going to do it quarterly. I'm going to update you quarterly, and I'm going to do January, April, July, October, and then next January. You guys, I think that uh, I went up in every category, just about every category. I think I went up, not as much as I did the previous check-in, uh, but I did still do some buying in certain categories. Certain categories are really ridiculous, and then certain categories have gone down. I will have photos of my present, my current uh, inventory. I will have photos of those. I previously compared those photos from, from the previous check-in until now. I no longer have the photos of July. Um, I had a little glitch, a little technical difficulty this past year with my computer and uh, they're gone. They're all of their, they're all gone. So uh, I will be showing you my current photos. I'm also going to be letting you know um, what I think I can finish up this year, like how many of each I can finish up this year. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started, won't you? I'm going to be wearing my glasses because I printed this on my computer and it's just a little small. It's just a little small. So we'll start with eye primers. I had 10 in July. I finished one. I decluttered zero. I did add four. And so now I have 13. So that went up by three. I would like to say that I could finish two this year, but one of the ones that's in my uh, 20 out the door in 24, it lasts a very long time, but it is my oldest eye primer. So I I don't know if I'm going to actually be able to finish more than one or even finish that one. It takes like mm, that much and it's a whole tube. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to finish it, but I'm going to try my best. For face primer, I had 18 in July. I finished five face primers. I decluttered two. Um, I, if I remember right, they did not work well with my foundation. I added nine face primers this year, and now I have 20. I have 20 regular face primers, and this is like a hydrating face primer or a pore blurring face primer. I do count glow primers separately because I use those for different things. Sometimes I mix them in with my foundation. Uh, sometimes I just put them on before my foundation, but they I use them for different things. You know, face primers I use to hydrate or to blend, and glow primers I use uh, for glow. I, I want that lit from within, dewy kind of look. So I do count those separately. And I had 18 of those in July. I used, I finished zero. I finished zero. I decluttered two. I know that one of them was rancid. Um, it was the Farsali, like, drops, glow drops. It was terrible. It smelled terrible. So I decluttered that, but I can't remember what the other one was. I added four. And so I have 20 of those also. That's funny because in, Ju in July, I had 18 face primers and 18 glow primers. And in January, I have 20 and 20. So that's kind of funny. Um, face primers. I didn't tell you. Fin face primers. I'm hoping to, I'm hoping to finish four at least four this year. I'm hoping. I I feel like they go kind of fast, a, a couple of months each. So I'm going to say four, but I would really like to finish five. My glow primers, um, I'd like to finish two, at least two of those this year. If I can finish more than that, that is amazing. But I know that my e.l.f. Halo Glow, there's a lot of product in there and I don't use a lot at a time. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. For foundation, 
In July, I had 16 foundations. I did finish five foundations this year. Um, I think that's the most foundations I've ever finished in a year. I did declutter one to a friend. Uh, it was a little light for me, and I knew that that person really loved this certain foundation, and so I asked them if they wanted it. Uh, and then I added six foundations this year. And so now I have 16. I have the same amount that I did when I started. Um, I would really like to finish at least three foundations this year. But if I, finish, if I finished five from July until now, I mean, they these were partial tubes that I had. So that's why there were so many. Um, and I don't have very many partial tubes and bottles. So I would like to really finish at least two, at least two. For concealer, I had 16 in July, and this is my liquid and cream. I had my cream separately. It's just a potted concealer um, that I kind of used differently than the regular concealer, but I'm putting them all together because they're all concealer. And so I had 16 in July. I finished five. Uh, I decluttered zero. I did add one. So now I have 11. So that did go down. Yay, that did go down. I would like to finish three concealers this year, like the whole year. I would like to finish three concealers. Um, I only have one that's partial. All the rest of them are unopened. So um, I know that they're full and they're going to take a little, a little bit. They're going to take a little bit. I only use just a little bit of concealer. For my color correctors, I had three in July. I finished one. I added two. So now I have four. I'm not worried about that category at all. My color correctors are different. They're for different things. One of them um, is blue. I mix it in with my foundation to make it a cooler tone. Uh, two of them are peach. I use them for my hyperpigmentation on my face. And then there's one that is a color corrector for under eye and it's the elf and yeah, so they're all basically different. There are the two peach, but I'm not worried about that. Cream contour. I do have this separate from cream bronzers because they do different things. So I do um, have cream contour by itself. I had six of those in July. I finished zero. I decluttered zero. I added zero. So I still have six. So I'm, you know, I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, Staying the same, I do have one that is, I know I'm going to finish this year. So I'm hoping altogether two, I'll finish two this year. That would be good. My powder contour, I did uh, scrap this category and I put that in with my bronzers because I do use them interchangeably. If I'm doing a very cool look, like maybe a winter or whatever, I will use a cooler bronzer, something that I normally would use as a powder contour to chisel, you know, make my cheekbones and my jawline. But, uh, so I, I moved those all to bronzers. For powder, my loose powders. I had 16 in July. I did finish one. I decluttered two. I didn't add any. So I have 13. Um, that's, that went down by three. I'm good with that. On my powders, I know I have a couple that are getting down to the end. And then I have maybe a partial one. So I'm hoping to finish three. One of them is the photo focus. So it's a lot of product. I'm hoping to finish three loose powders this year. I know I am going to franken a couple together. I have two that are don't have a whole lot left in them. I'm going to mix them together. So I'm hoping to finish at least three, but it'd be great if I could finish five, but I would like to like to finish three. Pressed powder. I had three in July. I finished zero. I decluttered zero. I did add two. So now I have five altogether. Pressed powder. I don't know if I'm going to finish one this year. I don't use it very often at all. Um, I use a loose powder as a finishing powder. I don't blot throughout the day with a with a pressed powder. Um, sometimes I will use a pressed the pressed powder with a brush and 
you know, use it as a finishing powder, but for the most part, I don't really use them much, but they're there if I need them, I guess. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to finish any this year, but hopefully I can finish at least one and not add any more. I don't need to add any more. For my pressed powder bronzers, I had nine in July. I added two. One of those was a Franken bronzer. I took some eyeshadows, Franken them together and made a bronzer. The other one was a gift. And so now I have 11. And that does include two single bronzers that I had in a Z palette. Uh, one is a Sydney Grace and then the other is my Franken bronzer. Another thing I'm doing this year is I'm telling you exactly how many pans of something I have. So I have a few face palettes that have bronzers in them. So I have six total pans of bronzer in face palettes. So that gives me a total of 17 pans. So all together, I have 17 pans of um, pressed powder bronzer. Does that make sense? Makes sense. So for my bronzers, I'm hoping to finish at least three this year. I have two with pan. I have one that is almost gone. I have one with a pretty big pan in it. And then um, one more. I would like to finish one more. I have a couple of minis, like deluxe sample size, that I would like to finish at least one of those. So um, let's move on to cream bronzer. I had four in July. I didn't finish any. I didn't declutter any. I added four. And now I have eight. Two of those four were gifts. I am hoping I have one with a very large pan in it. And I have one, uh, I have an elf putty bronzer that I have used the crap out of that I don't think has very much product left. So I would really like to finish that as well. So I'm hoping that I, I, finish at least two this year, but hopefully three. Like I would love to finish another bronzer because I do have another cream bronzer that um, has quite a bit of use on it. Okay, for blush, this is my pressed powder blush. I had 24 in July. I finished zero. I did declutter six blushes this year. Um, they were things that I got in boxes and I did not care for them. Um, also, I gave a couple away to friends. I did add four blushes since July, which gives me a total of 22. Now, like the bronzers, um, I also counted up my total pans. So in face palettes and anything that's two or more, I count as a face palette. So if it's a duo, like if it's a blush and a highlighter, it's still a face palette because you use it on your face. So if there are face products in a palette, I'm counting those pans. Does that make sense? So I have 37 pans of blush in face palettes, 37 additional pans of blush. So altogether, I have 57 total pans of blush, my whole collection. That's, that's a little, that's a little too much. I know one blush I will finish this year. It has a pan in it. Um, I am working on that in my 20, out, out the door in 24. I'm hoping to get that done. It is a blush that I love. Uh, so I shouldn't have problem getting usage on it. So I'm hoping to finish that this year. Hoping, hoping, um, blush or blushes are very hard to finish for me at least. So I'm hoping just that one, if I can finish another one, because I do have a couple of smaller blushes, deluxe sample size, or maybe just a little bit bigger than that, that I would like to work on. So we have cream blush. I had 24 of those also in July. I did finish zero. I decluttered two cream blushes. I added five. So that gives me a total of 27. In face palettes, I have three cream blushes. So I have 30 total pans of cream blush. And the cream blushes are the ones I want to really get use on because cream products do uh, go bad quicker than powder products, obviously. So I would like to finish three. 
I would like to finish three. I only have one in my out the, four, out the door in 24, but I do have a couple of cream blushes that I can probably get finished. Famous last words. Okay. So I have moved all my blush and highlighter duos over to my face palettes. Like I just said, anything two or more pans is considered a face palette and it can be all, it can be three highlighters. It's still a face palette. It can be a highlight and a blush. It's still a face palette. Okay, let's talk about highlighters. Oh, I love highlighters, you guys. Blushes and highlighters did not used to be very important to me. I have loved the blushes and highlighters this year. In July, I had 26 pressed powder highlighters. I finished zero. I decluttered two. Um, I added seven. I added seven. So my final is 31. 31 highlighters, pressed powder highlighters. However, in my face palettes, I have 63 pans of highlighter. So altogether, total pans of highlighter in my collection, 94 pans of highlighter. I had no idea. I had no idea. I know I have face palettes. I mean, honestly, I don't feel like I have more face palettes than a lot of people. I feel like there are people that have a lot more face palettes than I do, but still 94 pans of highlighter, pressed powder highlighter. It's a little excessive. It is a little excessive. So I'm hoping, I do have a small deluxe sample highlighter in my Out the Door in 24. Um, highlighters are hard to use up because I don't use very much. I don't use a highlighter every time I do makeup and I only use a little bit when I do. Whatever. Um, next up is loose highlighter. I do count this separately. Loose highlighter. I, only, I had four in July. Um, I did finish zero. I decluttered one during my big declutter at the end of the year. Uh, I added zero. So I have three. That's fine. And they're all different tones. They're all different tones. Uh, one of them is, is a pink. One of them is like a very beautiful goldy champagne. Beautiful. And then the other one is kind of dark. And I'm not sure how I'm going to use that. It's a Sydney Grace. It's dark. It's um. It's dark for my skin tone. I may end up passing that on to a friend. For my cream or look, oh, well, hi, loose highlighters. There's one. There's one that I think I can finish this year. Um, it, I've had it. It's my my oldest one, and I've had it for quite a long time. And I'm going to try really hard to finish that this year. Uh, for cream and liquid highlighter, I had ten in July. I finished one. Um, what was that? Oh, it was a tube. It was a little tube of, um, liquid highlighter that I got from a So Susan box. I finished that. Um, I decluttered four. Decluttered four. Also things I got in subscription boxes that I didn't like and weren't me and all of that. And I did add one highlighter, one cream highlighter. So that gives me a total of six. Not bad. Six. Um, it's less, it's four less than I had. However, I do have two pans of cream highlighter. Yeah. Cream highlighter in face palettes. So I have two pans of cream highlighter and, um, so that gives me a total eight total pans of cream highlighter. Okay. My single highlighters, which is a category on here. I did add those in with my highlighter pans. Uh, when I said that I had 26, I finished zero, decluttered two, added seven, final 31. Um, that did include my single, single highlighters that I have in uh, Z palette. And those are in the photo. Um, can I finish any cream highlighters this year? Um, possibly. I possibly can. We'll see. We'll say one. Let's, let's put a goal of one one cream highlighter to finish completely. Okay. For my setting sprays, I had three 
in July. I finished two setting sprays. I did two. Um, I decluttered zero. I added nine setting sprays. So now I have 10. Now some of those were gifts and some of them I bought, but I know that I can finish four setting sprays this year, probably more than that, but I know at least four setting sprays I can finish this year. I'd say probably closer to five. I do use setting spray every time I do my makeup. So we're going to say four, but I'm hoping, hoping for five. For my face palettes, I did add my duos into this category this year, and I will let you know how many uh, how many of those there were. So I had 16 face palettes in July. I finished none, obvi. Uh, de decluttered two face palettes. I added one. And so my final number is 15 of face palettes. Now, because I'm adding those duos in, those were there were nine of those. So now I have a total of 15. I believe those are all pictured together. If not, I'll put both photos up because I can't remember what I did. I can't remember what I did yesterday. So when I took these photos, I don't remember. Okay, let's move on to some lip products. Intermission for a drink of water. I've already been talking a lot. I went shopping with my friend. And we all, all we do is talk, so. Um, let's see. Lip products. Lip liners. Lip liners, I had 36 in July. I used two lip liners total. I decluttered 17 lip liners in my last declutter. I did add one, so that gives me 18. The reason I decluttered 17 lip liners, um, again, I got I got a lot of those in boxes, um, subscription boxes. They just weren't my shade. Um, some of them weren't unused. I did pass those on. I knew by looking at them that they were not going to work for me. They didn't work for me. So I did declutter 17 of them. And I have 18. So I went from 36 to 18. I think that's pretty good, even though that was mostly a declutter. I am much happier with a smaller uh, collection of lip liners. I don't need that many lip liners. And honestly, a lot of my lip liners are very similar to each other. But that's fine, because that's what I wear, and that's what I will use up. I'm hoping to use up at least three lip liners this year. I used up two since July. For my lipsticks, my bullet lipstick, I do all these separately because this is how I, I store them separately. Um, and I just can keep better track of them by storing them separately. So my bullet lipsticks, I had 31 bullet lipsticks in July. I used, I finished zero. I finished zero. I did declutter 12 during my declutter. Same reasons gotten in boxes or there were several that were dried up and there were unusable. I did have five. I added five bullet lipsticks this year. Um, some of those were gifts. Some of those I bought. So now I have 24. I don't know if I can use up an entire bullet lipstick in a year, um, but I'm going to try to use up two. Two. For my crayons, I do have those separately. And I, with my crayons, I have the retractable like sticks. Um, some people consider those bullets. I do not. Um, I store them with my crayons. I had 20 of those um, in July. I decluttered eight of those during my declutter. And I added eight this year. So I'm still at 20. <laughs> Same. Okay, liquid lipstick, I had 32 of them. I used, I finished zero. Hopefully that changes this year. I finished zero. Um, I did declutter eight during my declutter. I added 12 liquid lipsticks. Some of those were gifts. 
um, but I added 12 liquid lipsticks, which gives me a total of 36 liquid lipsticks. That is way more than I actually want. And I know for a fact there are at least four that I can finish this year because they're kind of getting down. Um, they're getting down there. So hopefully I can finish at least four, but I would like to, I'd like to finish 10, but that's not going to happen, but I'd really like to, but I know of four that I can finish this year. Uh, my lip glosses, I had 37 lip gloss in July. Um, I used up one. I can't believe I used a whole lip gloss, but I did. I used a whole lip gloss. Um, I decluttered 15 during my declutter. Uh, I added four. So now I have 24. So I went from 37 to 24 and that is, that makes me happy. Um, they were mostly declutters, but again, I am not a lip gloss person and I'm very picky about the lip glosses that I will use. If they are slightly sticky and the least bit sticky, I will not use them. They need to glide on and be nice. And I don't want it to feel like I've been eating a freaking caramel apple or something. I don't want my lips to be sticky. If they stick together, I'm done. I'm done. So I have 24 of those. Um, I do have a couple, a couple that I can, I'm saying three that I could possibly finish this year. That would be awesome. If I could finish three lip glosses this year, I would love it. I would love it. For my lip balms and oils, I have those together. I had 14 um, in July. I, I finished zero, zero lip balm. I'm not a lip balm person. I wear lipstick to work and it's like long lasting lipstick. So I do have two in my, uh, in my bag, which those were not pictured. Now that I think about it, uh, two of those were not photographed because they're in my bag and I forgot to put them in there. Anyway, I decluttered two during my declutter. I added five. I added five. Um, four of those were lip oils. Maybe all five of them were lip oils this year. Maybe I do like a lip oil. Um, and so now I have 17, I have 17 balms oils. I'm hoping that I can finish a few of those this year. I do, I will put a lip oil or a lip balm on while I'm getting ready to, you know, moisturize my lips, especially if I know I'm using a uh, matte liquid lipstick, uh, because I don't want anything to be, um, cracking or really dry on my lips. I know I'm real picky. I'm picky. I can't, I can't help it. Let's move on to some eye products. I have eyeliners. Um, my black liquid liners. I had five in July. I did declutter two. They were dried up. I received five since, since July. Those were all gifts. And now I have eight. I don't use a whole lot of liquid liner. I'm not good at it. Um, I have to really, it has to be something where I have to really, I can really take my time because my hands shake, um, and I'm not very good at it. I'm much better with a retractable liner. So I don't know if I can actually finish any of those this year. I actually may pass some of those on to friends that do like liquid liner. My daughter actually likes liquid liner. So I may pass a couple of those on to her. Um, one of the ones that I decluttered actually went to her. One was dry and I decluttered one to her because she was going to go buy one. And I'm like, before you buy anything, please let me know because I have a hoard here that I can share the love a little bit. Okay. So my black pencil liners, these are either retractable or an actual pencil that you sharpen. I had 16 in July. I finished 10. I finished 10 liners, finished 10. They were, a lot of them were just like, just had little bits left and I've just been working on them. So I finished 10. I decluttered zero. 
I added two and now I have eight. I'm trying to think of what I added and I can't remember. I can't remember. Black pencil liners. I'm hoping to finish another three to four this year. Um, I know I said that I finished 10, but since July, um, but like I said, those were like, I just chewed through them because there was just a little bits left of, of all of them. So now the ones I have, have a lot more product in them. So I don't think I can finish that many again. It's probably going to be two or three, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping to finish two or three. I would really like to get down to just two, just two liners. My colored liners. Wow. In July, I had 67 colored liners. This is a person that doesn't wear colored liners. Very rarely do I wear colored liners. I wear a black liner. I tight line with a black liner every single time I do makeup. I rarely use a colored liner in my waterline because to me, I can't even see it. So why am I going to use it? So I decluttered 41, 41 colored liners during my declutter. I added zero. And so now I have 26 and I am happy with that. I have a little bit of everything. I have one of every color, at least maybe two of every shade that I would need. The reason that so many of them were decluttered, some of them were subscription boxes and things I did not like. Um, I had a ton of, um, color pop cream gel liners. I bought a vault years ago, like three years ago. Why? I have no idea because like I said, I don't really wear colored liners, but I thought that they looked neat and color pop cream gel liners. They, they dry out, they break very easily. And if it was broken or dried out, it went away because I, I'm not going to keep them in there if I'm not, if I can't use them. So I did declutter 41. So I now have 26. I don't know if I can finish any colored liners this year. I don't, I don't wear them. I mean, I, I will occasionally, but honestly, the ones I have in there will probably dry up and I will probably have to declutter them. Although I am working on them. There are some that I really love, um, that I will work on, maybe finish. Don't know. Okay. For mascara, I had 12 in July. I used 10. I finished, I finished 10 mascaras since, since July. Um, I didn't declutter any. I added six. So now I have eight. Um, a couple of those were gifts that I added. Um, and that also includes one, uh, primer. There is an eyelash primer, a uh, Lancome eyelash primer that I received with, um, with a mascara that, uh, as a gift. And I know that I'll finish all of those, um, and then add more because you know, they, they're, they are limited. They have a limited time, a limited, limited time. Um, and the ones that I used, uh, were just about on their last legs. And so I used them up and they went away for brows. Now I have, I do have them broken down into categories and I will tell you what those are, but I think moving forward, I'm just going to say brow products. Again, something I don't use. I use eyeshadow in my eyebrows. I don't use brow pencils, brow gels. I do use a brow gel. Occasionally I do. Um, I don't use a brow pomade. I don't, um, I don't care for it. But I am going to try this year to get use on these products. I have 13 total brow products. I have five brow pencils, six brow gels, one brow pomade, and one brow palette, which there's only one shade in there that I, that I use and it's a dark brown and I like it a lot. So in July, I had 13 brow products. Um, I did finish a brow pencil. Uh, I didn't declutter any. I added a brow gel. I, I believe it came in a box. So I have 13, oh, 13 total. 
So going forward, I'm just going to tell you, I have them all photographed together. So going forward, I'm just going to tell you how many brow products I have. Okay, you guys, we are on the home stretch. We are. For my eyeshadows. So cream or liquid high eyeshadows. I had 14 in July. I decluttered three. I added 15 and I will explain that in just a minute. I added 15. So now I have 26. And in the photo, you can see a palette that has a ton of different cream eyeshadows in it. And that is this palette. And these are my cream eyeshadows. These are all Sydney Grace um, eyeshadows. There is not a whole lot in here, but there's enough. Um, friends and I shared our Sydney Grace cream shadows with each other um, because we knew that there was going to be more than we would ever need. So we did that. This is an artist watercolor palette. So when I say there were 15 added, the 15 in here. So they are not complete um, components of cream eyeshadow. So I just want to put that out there. Okay, so crayons or stick shadows. I had eight in July. I decluttered three. I didn't finish any. Uh, I decluttered three. I added one. I believe it was in a box. By the way, I'm not getting any boxes anymore. My boxes are gone. Um, so I have six. I am really hoping, I know I haven't been telling you how much I wanted to finish. Um, I'm really hoping to finish some of these since there's just a little bit in there, but there's still, that's still quite a bit, especially that corner one right there. Um, there's still quite a bit. I, I would like to finish some, I'd like to finish some, some cream shadows, uh, crayons. I don't know. I don't really use them very often. But maybe one. I would like to finish at least at least one. Okay, so my potted shadows, um, single shadows that are in packaging. I had seven of those. I, that's not a big big deal category for me. I don't really use them much. Um, but I had seven of those. I finished zero. I did declutter three of them. I added one, and so now I have five. I don't remember which one it's that I added. Oh, the Chantico. The Chantico uh, was in an ice cream beauty box, the bright pink one. Uh, for my loose shadow, I had four. I didn't finish any. I didn't declutter any. I didn't add any. I still have four. I am really thinking about pressing those into a pan. I'm thinking I might get more use out of them that way. I don't like things that are messy and Loose eyeshadows are messy. They are messy and I don't like that. So I might try to press them into a pan as much as I can. And then if there's any left, then pass them on to friends that want to do the same thing. Share the love. My ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. I had 49 in July. I had, I did declutter two. Both of those were decluttered because they were dry. They had been refreshed over and over again. They were like cement. They were like hard as a rock. So I did declutter them. They were old. They were old. So I have 47 super shocks. And my goal this year is to hit pan on as many as I can. I don't know that I'll finish any, but I do want to hit pan on all of my super shocks. I would, that, that is a goal of mine to hit pan. Eyeshadow singles. You guys... Buckle up, buckle up because it's going to be a ride. You may not think this is a lot. I think it's a lot for me. I think it's a lot. I had 86 single shadows in July. I have since added 69 single shadows. For a total of 155 single, 155 single shadows, I am a sucker for a shifty shade. Duochromes, multichromes, I'm a sucker. I love them. I don't wear them a lot, but I do wear them. 
but they are so beautiful and I can't not. I have to get them. Also, I love Sydney Grace and Sydney Grace has a bundle every month. And I say I'm not going to get the next month's bundle and then I see it and then I, oh, I have to get it because it's so beautiful. Give Me Glow had an amazing sale when they went from their 36 millimeter pans to their 26 millimeter pans. They got rid of all their 36 millimeter pans and they were ridiculously on sale. I put a big order in there and then they had a Black Friday. Yeah, as Sydney Grace also had a Black Friday. So that's where a lot of the 69 came from. Now, after I did my palette declutter, I've talked about this a couple of times, but if you're new, hey, if you're new, um, I depotted all of my six and nine pan uh, color pop palettes and one 16 pan color pop palette. So out of those singles, I added an additional 225 color pop depotted singles, which gives me a complete total of 380 single shadows. Why? I mean, I'm really happy that I depotted my ColourPop. I'm already getting use out of them. I'm picking out things like lid setting shades, brow shades, uh, transition shades, and putting them in little, um, Z, little, the little Z palettes so that I have something to reach for when my palette doesn't have what I need. So I'm already happy that I did that. Also, in looking at that, I can see how much ColourPop dupes itself. I have so many of the same shade. How many wines does someone need? How many browns, dark browns, which that's what I use for my eyebrows. So I know that I will have eyebrow shades for the next five, 10 years. <laughs> we'll see you guys. We'll see. So the only thing we have left are eyeshadow palettes. So I had 212 eyeshadow palettes. I did not obviously didn't finish any but I decluttered 55 since July. These weren't all on my declutter, but I did declutter 55 since July. I added 19 palettes this year to my collection. Some of those I bought, some of those were given to me as gifts because my friends are amazing. Love them. Not just because they give me stuff, but they're just so very generous. So I have 176. I honestly would like to keep it under 150, but right now, whatever. Um, 21 of those that were decluttered were my ColourPop palettes that I depotted. I did keep all of the packaging and I will be um, putting them back if I don't like them in the Z palettes. They're humongous Z palettes. If for some reason I don't like the way that worked out, then I will be putting them back. So 21 of them were ColourPop. So actually 34 palettes were decluttered. I obviously am not going to have a photo of my eyeshadow palettes. Um, I will have a link in the description box below to the... Uh, my collection and declutter, if you want to go check that out. Also, uh, I didn't have photos of my singles, so I will uh, have that linked as well. If you want to see my singles collection, I didn't declutter any. Obviously, I love them. So if you want to check that out, then by all means, go check it out. You guys, thank you so much for joining me today. If you're still here, put a blue heart in the comments below. I really appreciate you. And until next time, everyone have a great day and we'll see you later.